all right all right guys welcome back today we're going to be talking about how to build and compile aab files okay uh i want you guys to visit android for python organization created by robert flat i think so uh, you guys should visit this report i'll still put the link in the description below you need to check it out and understand many things because he actually sat down to explain a lot of things about building um kiwi for android yeah it talks a lot about it so you guys need to check this report out so here i think he talked about how to compile aab yeah so if you need it you have to pip install this version of builders uh that miko has yeah this is the this is the repo so in, check it out then comp i mean pip install it and then carry on with the rest okay i'm going to be showing you how you can utilize uh how you can build aab you know the settings you need to make on your builder zephyr so let me quickly switch to my Python. okay and yeah, let me put this down now before we carry on, let's quickly navigate to search everywhere and no, not the first peg, sorry. I think it should be it should be beautiful that spec. Yeah. So I'm going to show you the only changes that I made in Beautiza 5. Uh where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Yeah, artifact android release artifact is going to be apk by default change it to aab then you are going to see something like this android or x change it to this yeah it should support the two modules except if you want to only support for arm 64 v8a you can remove this but if you want to support for amoeba v7a you have to give support to arm 64 v8a yeah that is one of the requirements in google's uh whatever 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 that is the play store whatever whatever you want to call it i think that is the only changes then you need to change people in the branch it was to develop if you don't do so you are going to have a lot of issues a lot yeah so this is the only change you need to do and make sure you delete your older builder file if you don't delete it um it's not going to build that is not it's not going to recognize some things that you want to build aab so you have to delete it then regenerate it again with videos that in it and make sure you have pip installed miko version make sure you have run this or you go to miko version here click on code right click the zip file copy the link then come down where's my open it f12 then go to your python terminal let me just do this for those who would say i don't understand okay we'll do something like this python 3.8 minus m uh pip install zip pip or pipe i call it pipe usually so this is it you do it this way and boom yeah it's going to get it as a zip file instead of getting the whole repo of this guy because this one is going to get the whole the, the repo stuff i mean you don't need all of that you only need to install the package and carry on with your life so i think this is better i'll still put the link to this yeah so i, th I guess this is all you need to do and make sure you uninstall your older builders of uh older builders of package yeah people uninstall it then before installing this guy okay now we are going to build now before we build i'm going to quickly show you another thing uh by default where is my builder that spec file okay i mean <laughs> oh god okay where's my two chain okay yeah so i went into navigate let me see navigate uh i think i have to exit uh where's my view view appearance exit presentation mode okay go back to normal so inside this uh two chain 
I visited the bulldozer here and I went into the Python for Android inside of it. This Python for Android. Now inside it, you will see Python for Android, Python for Android and two chain. So what I did to make the build faster was to remove this guy. I commented this guy. Don't comment it on the first time. When you're building your code for the first time, do not comment it. You only comment it after building your code for the first time. That is, if you're commenting it, make sure you are not using a link. Uh, I wish my system could stop hanging around. Okay. Sorry for that hang. Uh... Let me go to let me quickly go to my requirements and show you something you need to be wary of. Okay, now when you include a link in your builder file, that is when two chain would say, "Oh, no, this properly uh, blah 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 built for your requirement." So it's going to delete your list and rebuild it again due to the link here. So when you when you put a link in your code. When you be after building for the first time you can comment this guy so that it will automatically build again without recompiling most of the recipes so you might not understand this share but i'll show you okay i'm going to launch my terminal sorry i will still go back to my small mood but for now we are going to do things some certain ways so i'm going to do this yeah and videos android release no longer videos android debug deploy run log cat don't do that because you can't log cat and you can't run and you can't deploy aab file so let's hit the enter button you will notice something it is not going to build the recipes again that is because I commented this guy and you only comment this guy when you put a link in the requirements of your builder, a link to a specific report to a specific package. Yeah. We have to wait for it a little bit. I want to show you guys something. <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay. Now look at this place. No existing this meets the given requirements. Now when you when your builders are clocks this, when it reaches this place, it's going to automatically delete this folder. Uh it's going to automatically delete this this folder and rebuild your recipes again. As you can see, you are not seeing any recipes being built. That is because I commented this guy. So normally if you put a link, if you put a link here, yeah, it's going to recompile your code again. And mind you, mind you, if you add another requirement here, you need to go inside of the two chain and uncomment it. Remove the comments so that it will take time and build the recipe again and then put your requirement. So uh, I'm going to go back to my immersive mode. Appearance, presentation mode, yeah. I wish my system could stop disgracing me, yeah. Okay, alternate F12. I think it's still kind of like, well, that's not our business for now. Now, after it's finished building, you need to run this bundle to build APKs uh, slash slash bundle equals the name of your package and the name of the AP, AAB. Remember, you have to CD into the bin folder. Remember, code red. I think I have to move back to because it's too tiny, uh, too big. I mean, not too tiny. Okay. Now, inside of this code red project, we have the bin folder, this bin folder, and here it's built our AAB. 
it builds our AAB. And now, when you want to test the AAB out on your phone, that is, you want to push it to your phone, you have to do this. Bundle to build APK slash slash bundle bundle code red. You must be inside of the bin folder. Else, if you're not inside of the bin folder, you have to put uh you have to put bin slash. Yeah, you have to do that. If you don't do that, I'm sorry for you. It's not going to recognize whatever you put there. And now output, what's the name of the output you want to be? It must end with dot APKS. S must be in the APKs. So I want it to look like code red or APKs. That is why you are saying it APKs because there are multiple packages in it. Yeah, multiple packages. Um one for and V8 and V7. I mean, V7, V8, whatever. Then uh, one for test two bits, one for 64 bits. Yeah then overwrite overwrite is when you kind of like rebuild when you kind of like compile a new version of your aab let me check what this has done okay yeah it's complete when you have compiled a new version of your aab you want to overwrite it. if you do not put overwrite it will tell you an existing name an existing file with the same name is already in use is already existing or something like that then it won't overwrite it won't it kind of like crash so you need to put the override to be able to overwrite your code overwrite your older version if it is there and then for you to install it on your android phone you have to run this bundle to install apks slash slash apks equals the name of this apk don't worry i'll put this command in the description below okay i think that's it when i run this ah, let's see so it's going to sign this is a debug is something you want to test out on your phone so it's going if you have um if you have android studio it will automatically use the debug key store on android studio because uh, it needs you need to give it actually you need to you need to do what exactly yeah <laughs> you need to sign it exactly you need to sign the apks so i think it is done now you need to also visit this website yeah because i'll still put the link in the description below visit this website and see how to use bundle 2 very well because i did some tweaking to bundle 2 yeah that uh on a normal, you can't be able to run bundle to straightforward. Yeah, you can't APT install it. You have to download the package. Visit this website. It will show you where to download it. Uh, and after that, if you want your bundle to. Let me open up my terminal here and pull up this guy. If you want your bundle to to be able if you want to register your bundle tool for your whole terminal to be seen the bundle tool in general you have to edit um uh, what is my cart uh dot bash rc so where is this guy where is this guy okay i think this is it bundle now you need to add this to your dot bash rc i think you should figure out where it is if you don't know google it it's somewhere at your home file i'm going to okay let me let me do as a paper cd home yeah that will take me to my home ls so inside of my home you see dot bash rc Oh, sorry, ls minus a so that I can see hidden files. A, B, A, B dot bash. Yeah, this is it. We have to see into it and then edit the file, add this guy. Uh, where are you again? Add this guy alone. 
and make sure bundle to all the jar is in the same folder with your batch the RC. Where's my bundle to? My bundle bundle to as you can see it here, it is in the same folder. This is the file itself. So you have to download it and then yeah, there you go. Okay, that is it, guys. That is how to compile AAB with your builder. Simple steps to take. Then in the next video, I'll be showing you how to compile with Python for Android, P4A. Yeah, for those using P4A, I'll show you that and just simple trick, you are done. Okay, guys, see you in my next video. Oh, God, now you. Yeah, stop recording.